Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to present my top seven free video editors. Now I'm not going to rank the packages, rather what I'm going to do is to present each one in turn so you can see what they're basically like, and then I'll discuss which ones are most appropriate in particular situations. I want to stress from the outset that all of these packages are absolutely free, they are not watermarks, they are not trials, they are video editors you can download and use on an ongoing basis. All the packages are available for Windows, most are also available for Mac or Linux, or sometimes both, and I'll indicate the availability with appropriate graphics on the screen. So, let's start our list with DaVinci Resolve, as I've showcased many times before on this channel. This is available from Blackmagic Design, who also sell a paid version called DaVinci Resolve Studio. So, if you want to obtain the free package, make sure that you download DaVinci Resolve on the left, and not DaVinci Resolve Studio on the right. DaVinci Resolve is a highly professional video editor based on a five-tab interface. These comprise a media screen for ingesting footage, a very comprehensive multi-track editor, and a colour tab that can be used for all kinds of colour adjustment, as well as green screen and other compositing. Next, there's a tab for the Fairlight Audio Editor, and lastly a Deliver tab for rendering out your final video. To run DaVinci Resolve, you need 8GB of RAM, as well as a decent graphics card with at least 1GB of video memory. Format support is excellent for professional formats, but more limited for consumer video. Also available in free and paid versions is HitFilm, with the free version being called HitFilm Express. This is a very stylish and popular package, and like DaVinci Resolve, offers a very slick user interface. At least 4GB of RAM is required, coupled with at least a 512MB graphics card. A major feature of HitFilm Express is the included layer-based compositor. This can be used for green screen work and motion graphics, and functions a lot like Adobe After Effects. HitFilm Express really is a very capable package, not just for video editing, but also producing effect shots and motion graphics, and I'll be returning to it in far more depth in a future video. A third package that's also the sibling of a paid product is Avid Media Composer First. This is a cut down but still very capable version of the industry leading editor Avid Media Composer, and hence a great package to learn if you want to work in professional video and film production. The package is limited to a maximum of four video tracks, although for most projects this is not that restrictive. The interface in Avid Media Composer First is very professional, although the package may take some getting used to for video editing novices. Input and output format support is fairly limited, and most footage has to be transcoded for editing, which consumes time and disk space. Output is also limited to QuickTime formats at 1080p. Our final editor that's also available as a paid offering is Lightworks. This again is a professionally focused package with a nice uncluttered interface that even lacks standard operating system menus. This initially can be confusing, but menus are available by clicking in relevant panels. Like DaVinci Resolve, Lightworks is based on tabs, with a log tab in which footage is ingested, an edit tab in which editing takes place, and a visual effects tab in which effects and transitions are added and adjusted. Working with transitions in a separate tab does take some getting used to, but it facilitates the uncluttered main interface and forces a professional workflow on the editor. Finally, there's another separate tab for working on your project's audio. Lightworks has been used to cut many Hollywood movies and has very good import format support. This said, note that output is limited to 720p in the free version, although YouTube or Vimeo upload at this resolution is included. The minimum system requirements for Lightworks are 3GB of RAM and a 1GB graphics card.
Moving to open source free video editors, we come to Cadent Live. This will run on any computer with 4GB of RAM, and sometimes even less. It's hence a good choice for those with lower spec machines and onboard graphics. This said, on comparable hardware, timeline playback is less fluid than in the other packages we've seen so far, with, for example, clips and transitions that play perfectly in DaVinci Resolve stuttering badly in Cadent Live. This issue can, however, be overcome by editing proxy files, which is done by setting proxy clips in project settings and flagging individual shots. And with this done, you can edit video fluidly on virtually any hardware. Caden Live also has good input and output format support and offers a decent level of user control. For those who want a free video editor that's very easy to use, OpenShot is well worth a look. Also open source, the project has delivered a package with a friendly and highly intuitive user interface with all functionality immediately at hand. Again, timeline playback can be a bit jumpy and frame accurate tweaking is more fiddly than in the other packages. But if you want to quickly put a few shots together, OpenShot is a great tool. It also runs OK on a system with 4GB of RAM and supports multiple video formats. Finally, another nice open source free video editor is Shotcut. Again running in 4GB of RAM or more, the package is more dependent on the right video drivers than Caden Live or OpenShot and can crash on startup if things are not just right. This said, once running properly, Shotcut is a stable and effective video editor. Certainly, it has some quirks, such as its bizarre way of adding transitions. However, native timeline playback is better than Caden Live or OpenShot. Shotcut is hence a great package for quick and easy edits and supports a wide range of video formats. So there we are. In the past few days I've looked at DaVinci Resolve, HitFilm Express, Avid Media Composer First, Lightworks, Caden Live, OpenShot and Shotcut. And in fact I've also looked at another free video editor called VSDC which I didn't really get on with and I looked at the video editing functionality in Blender the 3 3D modeling package but those last two I don't think deserve to be in my top seven free video editors list. So of those programs in the list which is the best? Well I think what we have to do is to put the programs into three different categories. And the first category is a category of one, and it's a category for Avid Media Composer first. And I would recommend Avid Media Composer first if you want to learn Avid. And you might be thinking, why do I want to learn Avid? Well, the reason is that because still today the majority of TV shows and films that have been edited digitally have been edited in Avid. Avid's hold on the market is decreasing professionally, but it's certainly still the majority professional editor. And therefore, if you are a future professional, if you like, if you've got aspirations of film and television, I would recommend that you take the opportunity to look at Avid Media Composer first to learn about Avid editing. Now, if that isn't you, the other editors fall into two categories. And the first of those are, if you like, free packages that are based on a paid offering. So in other words, we're here we have a DaVinci Resolve, we have HitFilm Express, and we have Lightworks. Now, these are all very professionally focused packages, or at least sort of high-end amateur packages of them. DaVinci Resolve and Lightworks are very much professionally focused. HitFilm Express is a more sort of high-end amateur package. Um, of the packages, I would recommend DaVinci Resolve. I think it's got the best user experience in terms of editing. Indeed, having run all of these editors on exactly the same hardware over the past few days, I've been very interested to find that the best timeline experience, without doubt in terms of speed and fluidity, is from DaVinci Resolve. I didn't expect to find that. So that's, that's a good thing in favour of DaVinci Resolve, and I say it is my preferred, if you like, professional editor of the uh, three video editors here. Having said that, HitFilm Express is a very, very nice package. I wouldn't at all be, if DaVinci Resolve didn't exist, I'd be very happy with, with HitFilm Express. And HitFilm Express has the very much big advantage of having its layer-based compositor. So if you want to do compositing type work, motion graphics, etc., you know, HitFilm Express stands on its own. It's absolutely brilliant. 
and I will be looking at HitFilm Express and its compositor in more depth in a future video fairly soon on this channel. Lightworks is also a good package, it's got a slightly smaller hardware overhead, it'll run better on slightly lower end systems than DaVinci Resolve or HitFilm, but it imposes a very strict workflow. In Lightworks you have to basically edit here, then you do your effects and transitions here, then you do your order over there. Um, I don't like to work like that, but I can see why it's put together. It's an editor's editor. It's an editor for a much bigger production workflow where different people are working probably on different parts of the production, rather than if you're sort of a lone shooter like me, when you're working on your audio and your sound effects all together, it's easier not to work with Lightworks. Now, to be honest, there aren't many reasons, if you want a free video editor, not to choose DaVinci Resolve or HitFilm Express or Lightworks, but there are some reasons. The first thing is all of these packages require pretty decent hardware. To be honest, they all require eight gigabytes of RAM and they require at least a medium range graphics card, at least something like the GT1030 I fitted in my last video. So if you've got lower spec hardware, you might not want to use those packages. You probably can't use those packages. Also, these packages do require you to give your email address to register to use them. Some people might not want to do that. And it might be you want a more straightforward, a simpler package to do some very basic editing. And if that's the case, you should go towards the open source packages, which in other words are Caden Live, OpenShot, and Shotcut. Now here, if you want the most straightforward, the easiest to use package, I would go for OpenShot. It's a very nice package. Everything is in one place on the screen. It's a very big, friendly sort of interface, almost a toy-like interface in some ways, but it works very, very well. And um, if I was saying to somebody who hasn't used video editing software before, what do I go for? I would go for OpenShot. Shotcut, though, has got a slightly better timeline experience, I think, than OpenShot. That might matter to you. And Caden Live will run on lower spec hardware than any of them, particularly if you will work with, with proxy files. So, those are my recommendations. Basically, to summarize those, if you want the best video editor here, the best free video editor of my seven in the list, I would go for DaVinci Resolve, providing your hardware can run it. If not, I would uh, go, if you want to be very straightforward and very simple, I would go for OpenShot. If you want to do compositing work, I would go for HitFilm Express. And also, personally myself, I'll still continue to investigate Lightworks. It is an interesting package. Anyway, that's it for this video. I should just say finally though, if you're going to download free software like I've been showing you here, be careful. Make sure you, you actually download from the manufacturer, the supplier's official website. Don't just do a search for one of these editors and pick the first Google link. That's not a good idea. You might pick up malware. Make sure you go to the appropriate site, download the package. Links are of course down in the video description. Anyway, that's it for now. This has been a mammoth video for me to put together. I've been putting it off for a while and I now know why it's been very difficult to do it all, but actually really interesting to see all these editors running together. So if you like the video, please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.